ओके सो वेलकम बैक सो सिंस अवर बैक एंड सर्वर इज़ रेडी नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अवर फ्रंट एंड वी आर गोइंग टू राइट एच टी एम एल फाइल सो इफ यू रिमेंबर इन द वीडियो वी हैड थ्री पेजेस द फर्स्ट पेज वॉज इंडेक्स डॉट एच टी एम एल वी आर वी आर एडिंग द टास्क एंड देन वी हैव लाइक टास्क लिस्ट एंड फाइनली वी हैव मार्क टास्क एज फिनिश्ड सो वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट सेपरेट एच टी एम एल पेजेस एंड I have copied this uh, CSS and JavaScript where we are going to write our main dot js and we are going to import the ethers from the CDN as an application JavaScript file and then I have like some styling because I'm really bad with CSS so instead of you know styling it in the uh, tutorial uh, i'm just going to copy and paste this because this is not the focus of this uh, development course the main focus is to uh, develop the back end and um, how to write a front end in vanilla javascript to communicate with the blockchain network so i will just post everything in the github and you can just copy and paste it so i have just copied everything from here so uh, let's start from index.html and let's do this let's remove everything here on the title we can say to do to do decentralized application and uh, we can just uh, at the start we can just okay let's just we can just copy everything here so the styling is here uh, so i have just copied everything in the style and now we are going to let's say uh, start the body so we can first create div and the class is navbar it's the navigation bar and it's going to um, show uh, different classes so href is uh slash index dot html and we can name this as add task we can copy it three times and we can uh, uh, create task list dot html and mark mark task dot html and here we can write uh, list tasks and here we can write mark tasks as finished and okay so this is ready so let's create these two uh, files to task list dot html and mark task dot html uh, okay and here let's copy everything here and here so we are now we are going to so because the navigation bar it's same for all the files so now we are going to let's say create div the class is container and we can say welcome to the decentralized to do application you can just um, skip this video if you want but i just want to explain how we can create uh, uh, the html files and how we can uh, create the post method so let's start the class is container oh man come on the class is container and we are going to create a form where the action is add task so when it's a form where when we are going to click on submit it's going to uh, go to this and the method is post the action is and 
ई एन सी टाइप इज मल्टी पार्टी फॉर्म डाटा सो जस्ट मेक श्योर यू सेलेक्ट द सेम थिंग हेयर सो लेट से वी हैव अ सिंपल स्पैन हेयर वेयर वी कैन से एट द टास्क हेयर लेट से वी हैव सिंपल इनपुट वेयर टाइप is equals to text name is equals to task name is equals to task and placeholder is add task here and then we can close it and simply we can have another input where the type is submit when we are going to submit and the value is equals to the name of the button is add task so what this is going to do first it has navigation bar and then this is the post request so when we are going to click on add task it is going to call this add task function and the form type is multi party form data and similarly we can actually go to uh, mark task as finished and we can do the same thing like we can just copy these things here and mark task and we can just simply go here we can change it to change your tasks status here and instead of uh, add task we can have change status and instead of type text we need an id so we need a number here and the name which we defined is id and add task and submit and we can say change task status so if you go to the back end you remember we did this the task is request dot body dot task and this task was given as an input in the add task function so if you just go here you can see the name is task so when we are going to click on submit this task the value of this input will actually go to the back end server here and this add task function will be given the input task and we will wait for the transaction to be mined in the blockchain network so uh, now our two files are ready and let's say we want to write our uh, task list now so what we want to do now here is uh, uh, we need to create this file so let's start first of all we need a uh, button where we can actually uh, connect to the metamask so on click uh, connect metamask we are going to write this function later but just uh, you can skip this video and maybe you can directly go to the main.js which i am going to write in the future uh and then we can create a paragraph where the id is no id is id is meta mask notification okay let's just id is meta mask notification we are not going to put anything here we are going to change it in the javascript file so whenever meta mask is connected we are going to write the meta mask is connected to this specific address and now we need a div again where we need another button and we are going to define is get all tasks 
and we can say list or tasks and uh, instead of metamask notification we can say it as let's say p3 you can name it anything it doesn't matter and then we need a table table the id is my table uh, where we can have a thread and tr and then we can have th task id th uh, task description and then finally th task status so this will be our uh, um, okay so we need uh, yeah so we have this table here and uh, let's say we want to create t body but i just want to keep it um, empty because we are going to update it through the uh, javascript file uh, in the uh, in the main application when we are going to click on connect metamask and when we are going to click on the button get all tasks uh, we are going to um, click on this button and all the data will be retrieved from the blockchain network so here our files our html files are almost finished so let's start our server and we can see if uh, okay so module is not found so npm install express oh i i forgot to install it so let's start it again uh, okay so now json rpc provider okay so i will i will remove this error and i will come back so uh, let's go here and let's see what is the error json rpc provider json ethers dot uh, it's not provider it's providers so let's okay so the app is listening on port 3000 so let's go on localhost 3000 3000 sorry so we have this add task we have this list task and then we have this mark task as finished so we have this here we can increase the width we have list task here i can see that uh, the it has not been implemented correctly and then we have the add task here so let's go back in the code and see what mistake we have made um, uh, my table if we can id table id is equals to my table yeah that's okay uh, I think we are missing the table CSS yeah okay I will put it it's not a problem uh, but for the mark task uh, we can see that there is something missing yeah so we can just go here in the type number and instead of 10% we can like make it 100% and if we just uh, so okay so now our files are ready so now what we are gonna do is we are going to create a main.js file here which has been shown here so now we are going to implement the functionality of these buttons how we can list all the tasks how we can mark uh, uh, change the task status and so these two mark task as finished and add task they are connected to the back end However, this list task, we are going to implement this connect metamask and list all tasks functionality in vanilla JavaScript. So see you in the next video. Thank you.